A warm welcome to Shanghai International Circuit. It's round nine of the GT Asia Series. I'm Jonathan Green. Welcome to Motorsport Asia as we bring you the highlights first of round eight. And it was a cracking race. It had everything in it. Controversial overtakes, massive smashes, and some excellent driving throughout. Anthony Liu getting in trouble and a penalty for this incident on Frank Yu. The second time Frank Yu had been spun around. And in the end, it was Daniel Lloyd who won with Daryl O'Young. An exceptional victory. As Rizzo and Liu made the podium, but were then penalized. It also involved a massive accident when the McLaren of Rod Salmon hit the barrier at over 200k. Luckily, the former Bathurst winner was OK. Salmon lives to fight another day. We actually had a mirror smashed in our practice session. No idea anybody around me. And uh, yeah, we've tapped a, you know, a Ferrari has, has somehow you know, been there. We've tapped and I've just had a little tap and gone around. and. You know, it's probably still doing 200, 220 when we hit the Armco. What were your thoughts going around? Yeah, it was uh, wholly, yep. Uh, as the car buried into the Armco, I just saw the Armco come all the way up to the windscreen. And uh, yeah, it was, I was feeling this is going to be a big hit. Uh, there was nowhere to go. It, just, it was obvious from the first tap that it was going to go into the Armco. Uh, yeah, then it just bounced and bounced and bounced. And when it stopped, I thought, hmm. OK, I looked around, everything's all right. And my leg was trapped between the clutch and the, uh, the brakes. I couldn't actually get out of the car. And uh, once I figured out how to do that, I um, yeah, hopped out and all I've got is a little bruise on my ankle. We want to fight the championship um, on fair grounds. And uh, we'll see what we can do today. I think if you penalise, you should penalise all. I think it's been unfair, ungrateful, judgmental, but you know, it's just, well, what can I do? The Lambo and the McLaren crash right in front of me. I had to go wide to avoid it, and then that's when everybody passed me. I ended up finished last, so it was a shame, but uh, it is what it is. Two laps before the checkered flag, uh, on the back straight during my braking, I had a puncture. So when the tire blew up on the front lap, I couldn't stop in time, and then uh, I ended up hitting uh, Sean, the uh, McLaren, and then my radiator was broken. Certainly the fans had come to see the Interrush team from Aston Martin. A huge support here in Shanghai. And in terms of the championship, this is how it stands. Adelaide Fong and Kenny Sauer with 109, equal with Daryl O'Young for Craft Bamboo Racing. And then Anthony Liu and Davide Rizzo, despite that penalty, 95 points. And Pity Birambakti right there as well. Bentley Team Absolute lead the team's championship. They have 183 points. Craft Bamboo Racing has 166, and Clearwater Racing has 127 points. Like you say, it's about the championship now, and there's three of us. I think we're pretty nearly tied. There's a point in it. Um, so, yeah, 100% focused on points, starting from Paul, so just got to give it the best shot we can. We just focus on the finish the race before Kanaba 99 for today. We have, uh, we have a good tyre strategy for, for the race, and... Hopefully, and uh, nothing happens with safety car-wise. Uh, other cars, and uh, and uh, other cars in the first corner. So uh, all should be quite good. I think the title is uh, is, is up in smoke. There's no way. Oh, we still have. Well, we need to we need to win uh, the next three races, and the other two we need to have two cars DNF at least once. So I think uh, we have to be realistic. The, the chance is very slim. Anthony Liu bitterly disappointed, having been given that penalty from round eight when he spun Frank Yu round in the last corner. Can they get some vital points and hope something goes wrong? They start in third position, and it is Anthony Liu at the wheel. Daniel Lloyd in the number 99 VLT. Aston Martin will lead them through. Adelaide Fong jostling for position in the Bentley early on as we go on board with Richard Wee. The sun going down here in Shanghai. Not easy conditions to see. He comes alongside Mock, almost getting by in the first few corners, but doesn't quite pull it off. And good start by everybody. Nice and clean as they go through the complex, the left, right, here at this famous Shanghai circuit. And away we go then. And Daniel Lloyd picking up where he left off. And already, Anthony Liu in the BBT Ferrari 458 GT3. 
starting to get racy. On board with Pity Pit and Bakti of Thailand. In fourth position by the looks of things, Liu still trying to get past Adelaide Fong. And there's no love lost here between these two. The Continental GT3 getting as wide as it likes. Liu in the more nimble Ferrari, almost pushing the Bentley along at this stage. The Bentley definitely has good advantages. Liu goes up the inside, good aggressive maneuver by Anthony Liu to go into second place, or does he? Adelaide Fong fights back, they're side by side, this is excellent. Adelaide Fong gets to the grass and he was nudged out there by Liu, this is aggressive racing. And Adelaide Fong holding his composure here. And it's a drag race down to the tight right-hander and the leader still Daniel Lloyd and just about holding on the number 37 BBT Ferrari of Anthony Liu. Davide Rizzo, his teammate watching on the sidelines, tense moments for the team early on. And sure enough, now he's got that second place. But Adelaide Fong, as we all know, he too vying for the championship, remember, as we go on board with the number 88, Frank Yu. A miserable, miserable round eight for the team. Richard Lyons had a brilliant stint. And Frank Yu was doing nothing wrong when he was out there. Anthony Liuzzi watching on as the McLaren still going strong. But uh, Frank Yu spun round twice in round eight. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Lloyd, Liu, then Fong, Pitti, Jiang in fifth place, Kim sixth, and then Jeffrey Lee seventh, Richard Wee in eighth place, and Mok Wen Sung ninth, Hamaguchi in tenth, and then it's Frank Yu who we just were on board with in the number 88, Aston Martin. So then round nine, settling down, Ketasawa getting himself organized and ready for his stint. Compulsory pit stops, remember, this time it's the gentleman drivers in first. And pushing hard early on is the number 55 as we go on board with Mok Wen Sung. And as the sun goes down, he's chasing hard on another Ferrari, that of Richard Wee, jinx to the inside. He's also got Hamaguchi behind him, so... Tight moments there, Mok Wen Sung still in pursuit. Oh, he gets spun round! Hamaguchi spun him round! Oh, I can't believe that, the former teammates, partners. And Mok Wen Sung, this season is just not going according to plan. And here's another look, Hamaguchi just bounces over the curves. And yeah, I'm afraid Hamaguchi at fault in that one. Luckily, Mok keeps it going, Frank Yu going past, there's the leader. And Lloyd, Liu and Fong, that's still the top three. There is Adelaide Fong in the white. Continental going through. Pity still in fourth, but Jiang jinking to the inside. Kim just behind in the second Bentley. So plenty of drama throughout this race. And the sun going down here in this showdown in Shanghai. More battles going on, Max Visa. There in the number nine, Spirit of Race Ferrari. And Davide Rizzo watching on as his man, Anthony Liu, trying to do the business. 10th place, Philip Marr, Hamaguchi drops to 11th after that incident. And now Philip Marr in the Audi under pressure and through comes Hamaguchi. And I think the stewards might have something to say about that, but we'll see and he'll carry on, of course. Lights blazing. Might need the lights soon, the way the lights fading quickly. And Pity under pressure again. The tie driver bouncing over the curbs. And the number nine, Spirit of Race, Max Visa. And Zhang Zin, Zhang Zin, of course, at the wheel in fourth position. He's got past Pity. They come on to the main straight again. And excitement, as you can imagine, on the pit wall. We're getting ready for the pit stops. Through goes the number seven. Jeffrey Lee in the absolute Bentley. Doing a very good job so far. He'll hand the car over to Andy Myrick. And his experience will show, I'm sure. But so far, Jeffrey Lee doing a very good job to try and get this first stint off and running. Here comes Adelaide Fong again. Anthony Liu breaks a little later than Fong, but he can't get round there. He goes to the inside. Oh, can he get him? Fong gets good drive. They're side by side again. Do they touch? Liu and Fong, the two Chinese drivers. One from Shanghai, one from Hong Kong, and somehow Anthony Liu holds off the larger Continental GT3. 
And the Ferrari crosses the line, but Adelaide Fong trying to intimidate Anthony Liu, and I'm sure it won't affect Liu in the slightest. Well, they come different ways to meeting here in Shanghai, and Adelaide Fong finally goes up the inside of Liu, left a lot of gap there, and through goes the Bentley. And Fong made it look easy in the end, but uh, Liu Mei just have thought to himself, I don't need to get spun round again or in trouble again. And now you can see the sun going down. It really is affecting the vision as Frank Yu goes up the inside of Mott Wensung. Oh, we're on board with Richard Wee, and he's got Frank Yu. In fact, it was uh, Richard Wee that Frank Yu went past. And Frank Yu having a much better race this time out. They're watching on, Darylo Young watching on as well, as the VLT car continues to lead this race. Mock up to seventh place, Yu now in eighth. Then it's We right here with Hamaguchi right behind him. Hamaguchi looking for a way past, he looks to the inside, and he has. Yamaguchi has been given a drive-through penalty, so for all his aggression, it's all gonna come to naught. And he's behind this battle right here. And Richard Wee does not want to get embroiled. Oh, and the number 55 getting very leery there. And he's going to have to come in and do a drive through anyway. They come into the last turn. Does he come in now? Yes, he does. So through comes Hamaguchi and into the pit to do a drive through penalty for that incident with Mok Wensung. Mok's OK and no damage, it seems, to the Ferrari. Very impressive uh, how that car has held up, uh, having been knocked about by Hamaguchi. So the long, lonely passage down the pit lane. As we go now to the pit window opening, and these are vital times as the leader, Daniel Lloyd, starting to get into traffic, and I wonder when he'll want to come in. And already Anthony Liu has taken his pit stop. He's out of the car, and in goes Rizzo. Important pit stop this. In comes Richard Wee. They're all coming in now. So this race on a knife edge right now. And remember, those that win the races, and last time out, of course, Darryl o. Young and this man, Daniel Lloyd, they'll get a 10 seconds extra, eight seconds extra for second place, and two seconds extra for third. Richard Lyons, look at the smoke coming off the brakes. That's Kedasawa, stretches and gets ready. And waiting for his chance to unleash the speed that is Kedasawa. Daniel Lloyd coming around the penultimate corner now. Is he coming in this time? We'll soon find out. Yes, he is. In comes the leader then from Great Britain in the Craft Bamboo Racing Aston Martin. Comes to what seemingly feels a halt almost to get the speed limit. And in they come, and Darryl o. Young. And these points are going to prove vital. This is a very, very important stint for Darryl O. Young's championship hopes. Adelaide Fong. Out of the car, Kedasawa is in. Great to see the onboard shots. Duncan Tappy, fifth place. Van Damme, sixth. Weedy, seven. So everybody filtering through for the pit stops. And now we're going to see some real lively racing, I'm sure. Alessandro Paguidi, who had such a good round eight. Coming in at the last minute, but doing a very good job. Bags of experience here in Asia anyway. And doing a good job again here. But now it is the chance of the big boys. And in terms of the championship, we couldn't have been closer going into round nine. And just Thailand after this, remember, two races there. So every point counts and every decision counts now. So, tense moments, Darryl o. Young looking to try and take the lead. And it would be a slim one as Darryl o. Young takes off in the V12 Vantage. And right behind him, Kedasawa. And this is the championship right here between these two. Anthony Liu and Davide Rizzo are in third place. They pitted early. And away goes Darryl o. Young in the Aston Martin. The Bentley taking its time, but away they go. A little bit of time lost. There's Anthony Liu in the background, watching on is Daniel Lloyd. What a great weekend he's had. Pit window closes, and now it's the pros. Down to the sprint race to the finish. Tappy still in fifth place. He's got Van Dam, who had such a good run in round eight, right behind him. 
going on board with Alessandro Guidi. He's watching this battle as it unfolds in front of him, and he could join at any minute. Tappy then and Van Dam. The lights blazing on the Carlo Van Dam Ferrari. He was complaining a little bit that the boosts had been turned up as far as he was concerned on the turbocharged cars, but uh, I think it's been pretty level all weekend. Myrick and Parente, Alvaro Parente, struggled in first qualifying at the beginning of the weekend here in Shanghai. And everybody missed out on Thursday. Practice, no practice on Thursday as we go back with Carlo Van Dam. Onto the front straight again. And now will the number 11 get a chance to overtake the Bentley of Duncan Tappy? He looks to the inside. It's a bit dirty on the marbles down there, but he makes it stick, or does he? Yes! Nice manoeuvre by Carlo Van Dam, the Dutchman, on the number 77. Neatly through the complex. And Adelaide Fong getting some congratulations from the team, but he doesn't seem too happy. And meanwhile, number 55, Parente, and of course, loads of work to do after that drive through penalty. They're chasing Andy Myrick in 10th position. Can they salvage something from this? Big mistake by Hamaguchi, really. Alvaro Parenti is brilliant. He's a factory McLaren driver. But whether he's that brilliant and he can save the day is hard to fathom. Having said that, Daniel Lloyd did it for Darrell o Young last time. On board with Matt Griffin right now. Griffin's had a good weekend and a good year too. Bags of experience, one of the most experienced drivers here in GT Asia. Succeeded around the world in various forms of sports car racing and really enjoying his time here in Asia. Tappy, Guidi and Griffin, that's what it looks like. Guidi in the number one. Currently in seventh position and he can't find his way past Duncan Tappy. He's making that Bentley as wide as he possibly can. And of course got good grunt down the long back straight here at Shanghai. That's where they say the Bentley has the advantage. Certainly that was the case last year. I think it's more level this year in terms of the Ferrari versus Bentley battle. And the number 12, doing a very good job, Matt Griffin. Time running out in this vital round nine race. They come on to the straight again. And Andy Myrick still holding off Alvaro Parente. But here comes Parente. Look at the blaze on those lights. He's determined to get past, trying to intimidate My Myrick. But Andy Myrick's got bags of experience. It won't bother him a jot, I don't think. But he's certainly under pressure for sure from the McLaren. Whoa, that was a very bold manoeuvre and he's made it stick. Well, that was a great overtake by Alvaro. It was a little aggressive and now the Bentley's doing the flashing. So a little bit of gamesmanship, but as it should be. Great racing though. Oh, Young still leads from Keda Sauer in second. Davide Rizzo still third. And look at Rizzo, all over the back of the Bentley that gets out of shape. Cracking, fighting, and through comes Rizzo. Davide Rizzo, the Italian, racing at home. He lives in Shanghai, and he's side by side with the Bentley now, surely. And back comes the Bentley to defend the position. They're coming up on back markers. This is going to be critical. Keda Sauer doing everything in his power to defend. And they've got traffic ahead. But where do they hit that traffic? Up the inside goes Rizzo. Sauer has to give the place. Oh, but goes wide. Rizzo makes a mistake. And through goes Keda Sauer, the Japanese again. What a cracking round nine. Under the lights almost now. It's lights blazing on the cars and it's getting darker again. The flashing lights of the Ferrari. This is great racing. They cross the line almost side by side. The next is a right-hander. And Sauer's got the better line, and will he hold it? He just needs to break as late as he possibly can, and he does so, and Rizzo has to wait. And these two have fought each other around the circuits of Asia for the last few years. And they know each other's game very well. And now we're starting to see the idiosyncrasies between the two cars. There's no question the Ferrari is more nimble. 
And there's no question that the Bentley has plenty of grunt. But what are they going to do with these bat markers? And this is where Sauer's racecraft is really going to come in. He's got his mirrors full of red and yellow. And the, look at that Ferrari swerving behind him, trying to get some traction. But now the bat markers are definitely coming into play. He needs to get by them now as quickly as he can. And if they haven't seen them, they really aren't looking. And sure enough, they've dispensed with one car. And again, Rizzo looks for a way past. Sauer holds on. Intense racing. They come up on the Porsche. Side by side again. That slowed Sauer down a bit. Better line for Rizzo. And Dabene holds the line. But here comes the Bentley again with the grunt. Oh, this is fantastic. Great racing, this between them. Drag racing towards the next corner. Rizzo's got the line into the right-hander. And again, Sauer has to give it up. But he won't, though. And he's got to be careful that he does back out of it this time. He would have gone wide otherwise. And Rizzo holds on. Intense racing, round nine of the series of 11. They come on to the main straight again. Davide Rizzo for the BBT Ferrari team. Keta Sauer, here's another look. It was just that moment Keta Sauer had to lift slightly and that's all that Rizzo needed to get side by side and then we said there was a power difference between the two I don't see one now because that Ferrari holding its own against the Bentley and this was the critical overtake because Sauer found himself on the outside of the penultimate corner and they're watching on Guidi's retired the number one car more trouble for Mock and Guidi what a shame and sadly for the first time in many years, I don't think that Mock's going to be a factor in the championship chase. This man is, though. Daryl Young comes out of the last corner here in Shanghai and takes the chequered flag here. Another win for Daryl Young, and that will give him the championship lead and move him to 127 points. Keta Sauer, with that excellent run, along with Davide Rizzo, will battle for second and third in the championship. Another good result for Max Wies in the number nine as they cross the line. Here are the results then. Lloyd and O'Young with the win. Davide Riso and Anthony Liu is second place. Adelaide Fong third with Keta Sauer. Zhang Zin and Max Wies are fourth. Carlo Van Dam and Pitti Virambakti in fifth place ahead of Andrew Kim and Duncan Tappy. Congratulations to the VL team, Aston Martin team. It's been a really, really potent combination since Malaysia. Jonathan Ventner obviously out injured, but another good victory. And Frank Yu, fellow Aston Martin driver, congratulates them. Well done to BBT as well. A good result for them. Daniel Lloyd, you've got to be very happy with that. You don't look too impressed right at the minute, but uh, that was a relatively simple race. I'm over the moon. I've, I don't think I've ever been as nervous watching a race like that. Um, we I remember simple. <laughs> it wasn't simple. Um, you know, the first lap was really important. I had a great first lap and just got my head down, consistency. And, you know, we, we had the, penalty, the success penalty from yesterday. So we, we needed that gap. So I was just pushing and pushing. And um, Daryl got in and did just as good as a job and even pulled a bigger gap. So, you know, all we were praying for is no safety car. So looks just come our way this weekend. So it's been great. Daryl, that was an inspired drive. He just kept extending the gap. Very impressive. Yeah, I mean, the, Daniel did a fantastic job in the opening stint just to open that gap. Like, we had to push really on the limit as we had that 10-second uh, penalty we had to overcome. So uh, he, he was doing purple sectors, purple sectors, and he was driving unbelievable. And at the same time, he kept the tires perfect. Uh, we didn't change tires, and we kept this uh, with the hot tires on. And the car was mega. The car was just unbelievable. Uh, the Craft Abu Racing did a brilliant job this weekend. And, I mean, this, uh, it's really good progress this weekend. And they now lead the championship, Darrell O'Young, that is. Of course, Daniel Lloyd coming in as a replacement for Jonathan Bentner. But as he says, he's over the moon. And well, he might be, because he's taken that Kraft Bamboo Aston Martin racing team to 127 points ahead of Adelaide Fong and Keta Sauer, who are still in the hunt with 123 points. Anthony Liu and Davide Rizzo still with a mathematical chance with two races to go. And Pity Fear on back team now with 95 points. In the team's championship, Bentley Team Absolute 205 to Craft Bamboo Racing's 191. Clearwater Racing in third with 132 points ahead of BBT in fourth place.
And congratulations to James Kai and Kenneth Lim in the GTM class. Despite being involved in a big accident in round eight, they live to fight another day and win in GTM. Well, round eight and nine had drama throughout at Shanghai. Two races to go now, and it's uncharted territory in Thailand. Until then, from me, Jonathan Green, goodbye for now.